interesting that they're focusing in on Binance in particular. Chainalysis is saying more funds tied to criminal activity flowed through Binance than any other crypto exchange. Hello everyone and welcome back to Investing Guide. After the major crash in Bitcoin, Ethereum and BNB on May 19th, BNB came under serious fire. Cryptocurrency is often praised to be transparent and free of government intervention and legislation. But due to these very reasons, cryptocurrency is a highly unregulated industry becoming a tool for people to use to carry out illicit activities. One of these is Binance, the top and most popular cryptocurrency exchange. In 2021 alone, over 100 million people were reported to be using Binance as their primary cryptocurrency exchange. Binance is an exchange that was founded by Changpeng Zhao, a developer previously experienced in high-frequency trading software. After stricter regulations were imposed on cryptocurrencies in both China and Japan, Zhao moved the company several times before settling in the Cayman Islands. But this isn't Binance's first serious federal investigation. After the addition of new regulations on cryptocurrencies and their exchanges, Binance was initially banned from the United States in 2019. The company then created Binance US, a separate exchange to comply with the new US laws and has even registered with the United States Federal Crimes Enforcement Network. Is history about to repeat itself? Currently, Binance Coin BNB, is doing really great and has nearly tripled in value in 2021 alone, but that could all be about to change. Recently, Binance has come under heavy scrutinization by the United States Department of Justice and Internal Revenue Services on claims of money laundering and tax offenses as first reported by Bloomberg Media Company after it acquired its information from anonymous sources. The DOJ and IRS were reported to be seeking information from people who have any knowledge of the company's operations. The report stated that prosecutors from DOJ's Bank Integrity Unit, who are often in charge of international cases including money laundering, are partly leading the inquiry on Binance. Bloomberg also provided its readers with statistics on how more illicit funds have flowed through Binance in 2021 alone than any other cryptocurrency exchange. This data was provided by the US data company Chainalysis. Another article written by Forbes talks about the spokesperson from Binance reportedly stating that we take our legal obligations very seriously and engage with regulators and law enforcement in a collaborative fashion. The representative also mentioned that Binance had a robust program that incorporated anti-money laundering principles and tools used by financial institutions to detect and address suspicious activity. The Binance spokesperson always reportedly said that it strictly monitors and actively blocks US residents from using its website through advanced technology that analyzes deposits and withdrawals, looking for signs of illegal transactions. Should Binance be found, it could also be possibly facing fines of nearly half a million dollars to twice the amount of money that it has laundered. US personnel working for the company and who have aided in the crimes could be jailed for up to 20 years. Binance processes an average of 80 billion USD in transactions in just 24 hours. However, the news of Binance being used as a tool for white collar crimes comes with no surprise. The cryptocurrency market is still largely unregulated in the US, and with the nature of cryptocurrency, it has been increasingly easier for criminals to get away without even arousing suspicion by the authorities. However, despite these allegations, the company's CEO, Zhao, denies any wrongdoing on Binance's part. In a tweet posted out just hours after Bloomberg released the article in question, Zhao claims that it misrepresented the interaction between Binance and the investigation teams. The following quote was specifically written by him. It described how Binance collaborated with law enforcement agencies to fight bad players, but somehow made it look like a bad thing. His statements were also supported by ex-US Senator Max Baucus, who believes that he is confident that the company is abiding by all relevant laws and rules in the United States. Yet this is not the first time Binance has gotten into trouble. In 2019, the company's servers were hacked into and 7,000 Bitcoin, which is worth close to 40 million USD at that point in the time, was stolen from its platform. The company released a statement after the attack claiming that it was not the work of an individual person, but rather a team of highly skilled hackers who used a variety of methods to carry out a large-scale security breach into their platform. This all happened despite the fact that the platform uses high levels of technology to protect its users from such breaches, and even have their user information sealed by a two-factor authentication system. 
In October 2020, Forbes reported a leaked document from the upper management of Binance that went into detailed strategies on evading or going around the new regulations of the United States. The company did go on to sue Forbes magazine for these allegations but dropped the lawsuit as of February 2021. In March of 2021, Binance landed in hot water when it was again investigated by the United States Commodity Trading Futures Commission, the CTFC, for allowing US traders to buy and sell derivatives. Now, one may wonder why the CTFC is interested in the cryptocurrency exchange. Regulations in the United States state that the government does not consider cryptocurrency to be an official currency but rather a commodity that investors can invest in. Imagine like real estate or gold. This means that cryptocurrency exchanges face stricter customer protection and oversight demands if American investors are using them irrespective of the location of the company. Thus far, none of these investigations have borne any fruitful results into Binance and its operations. So, how does this investigation into Binance affect the future of cryptocurrency and its exchanges in the United States, and perhaps even worldwide? While the investigation is still underway, and Binance has not officially been accused of misconduct, Bloomberg speculates that this could possibly be a move by mainstream US investors to thwart the progress of cryptocurrency in the investment and currency industry. US Treasury Department also stated that it is considering implementing new rules that would allow banks to record and store the identities of those who invest in virtual assets. This has raised fierce discussions among several Americans, as some argue that it infringes on their right to privacy, while others argue that it is a necessary evil to reduce criminal activities like money laundering and tax evasion. What does this mean for the future of Binance? Should the investigation reveal that Binance really is responsible for the rumored allegations of money laundering and tax evasion, then the United States Department of Justice may find it somewhat difficult to arrest and charge Zhao. Zhao and his company currently reside in the Cayman Islands. While the UK and the US are good allies, the Cayman Islands are self-governing. Not only is Zhao not on US soil, but he's also not an American citizen. He's a Canadian, complicating the matters further. But this issue now not only consists of Binance and its alleged actions, but whether or not the DOG is singling out a particular company. The Cayman Islands is a tax haven, where neither corporate tax nor income tax is needed to be paid on money and outside the territory other than an annual fee. Companies like Goldman Sachs, PepsiCo, Pfizer, Tesla and Starbucks have subsidiaries present in the Cayman Islands territories, and many of these companies have also been accused of the same crimes that Binance has. Predicting from the past actions that DOG has taken against these companies, could we hedge a bet that Binance will be fine and will not have to face any heavy consequences of its actions? And if it does, then why are the DOJ and United States government only acting out now? How could deprecating the value of a cryptocurrency exchange and possibly eliminating it entirely benefit the public? Maybe the right question to ask isn't about the public, but about how it benefits the government and the people pulling the strings of operations directly. Even if Binance is found guilty and is successfully convicted, it might still get banned in the US, but it's highly unlikely it will go out of use in other parts of the world. Illegal activities, such as using the exchange for trafficking, black markets, and many more could become even more anonymous and hard to track. Despite several media outlets readily delivering news regarding the investigation into Binance, surprisingly its number of users has not dropped. It still ranks amongst the top 10 cryptocurrency exchanges and has become highly targeted towards American users. According to statistics by Bloomberg, Binance adds an average of 240,000 users per hour. In fact, despite the scathing article released by Forbes after the start of the investigation, Forbes journalist Taylor Tepper and John Schmidt later went on record to recommend Binance as their go-to cryptocurrency exchange, citing it to be better than US-based Coinbase and Robinhood. A quote picked out directly from their article is, While no exchange is perfect, Binance US offers a rich blend of intuitive products, useful charts, and low fees that make Forbes advisors pick for the best overall crypto exchange. Binance may be a route through which many criminal activities take place but it is also an exchange that normal investors use to invest in the variety of cryptocurrencies available on their platform worldwide. While Binance may not be a new platform, or it might not be the platform that you're considering to use when you invest in cryptocurrency, I think you as viewers can take one important lesson home with you. Read everything in the media with a pinch of salt. Media personnel should not significantly influence your investing strategies, and even then, do your research beforehand. The fact of the matter is that a single news cycle could cause a major increase or decrease in the value of cryptocurrency. 
When Elon Musk first announced that Tesla would no longer be accepting Bitcoin as payment for its products, the value of Bitcoin, the world's most popular cryptocurrency, dropped by nearly 35%. Cryptocurrency is volatile and many experts feel that it is going to be the next dot-com bubble, only this time its consequences could be significantly worse. That is not even considering the new stage of climate change that it is expected to usher in. However, don't get your hopes down. There are pros and cons to everything and we can never predict the future. Crypto could literally be the first cryptocurrency could literally be the currency of the future. And there is nothing wrong with getting a piece of the pie early on. Just remember, are on the side of safety, and keep the percentage of your crypto investment to less than 5% of your total portfolio. While you're here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. See you there!